Minister John Amrathunga provided fashion advice while on a tour of Kajagama. More on the story later on in the bulletin. A very good evening. I'm Shane Silva. And I'm Mahina Bonzo. Here's a look at your headlines. Houses to be provided to the victims of the garbage dump collapse on presidential orders. Prime Minister arrives at the Mithotamulla dump site. Public express their opposition against not being allowed to voice their concerns. Protests erupt against alternative garbage dump sites in Colombo. UMP Katana organizer resigns in protests against activities of Minister John Amrathunga. The government has decided to begin handing over houses to victims affected by the Mithotamulla garbage dump collapse tomorrow. The decision was reached following a discussion held today under the auspices of President Maithripala Sirisena. Prime Minister Ranul Vikramasinghe, Minister of Disaster Management Anurag Priyadarshan Ayapa and a number of officials and politicians were present at the meeting held at the Ministry of Disaster Management. Issuing a media release, the Presidential Media Division said that a decision was reached to immediately provide homes to the 98 families that were displaced by the tragedy. Attention had also been focused on evacuating residents around the garbage dump, living in the high-risk zone and providing relief for them as well. The Presidential Media Unit also noted that the President has called on the Sri Lanka Army to begin operations to remove the garbage dump from the area and ensure that illegal settlements are not created in the area. Based on these reports, a written warning had been issued on the 7th of April. Even after this incident, there are persons who don't like to move away. However, they will have to be moved. As the government, we will provide suitable houses. There are 60 houses in Salamulla which we can take control of even tomorrow. We would relocate 60 families. The rest of the houses will be provided by the 1st of July. If they are willing to relocate to an alternative place that they own, then we need to provide them with compensation. Mm. Make sure all 98 families receive help. The army took up the responsibility of removing this garbage dump. You need to start soon. A media briefing was held after the meeting. The Urban Development Authority is in possession of 60 houses already. They have promised to increase this number to 98. The government will take immediate steps to purchase these homes and we will send those who have been displaced into these homes. A decision was also reached to provide 250,000 rupees to each family whose houses were completely destroyed. For the families that will not be able to move, steps will be taken to provide houses by July. We will ensure that everyone gets a home to live in. Evaluation officers have already commenced work to ascertain the damage as caused. Thereafter, the government will decide on the compensation. There has been speculation saying it will range from 100,000 to 2.5 million. We do not have a figure or a limit. Compensation will be based on the evaluations. Providing only a house is insufficient. These people lost all of their belongings. There was a proposal to provide 250,000 rupees. This should be given so that these people have some respite. These proposals are good and we accept them. They should be implemented soon. The minister has stated with responsibility that the government will fulfill this proposal. There are several people who have died. None of the family members have received compensation. The value estimated as compensation is 100,000 rupees. 100,000 will not be enough to compensate the lives that were lost. When an elephant attacks a person, they provide 100,000 rupees. We cannot measure the value of life. Provide us with at least 500,000. Do not make us helpless. 
In related news, Prime Minister Anil Vikramasinghe visited the Mitharamula disaster site after meeting with the President. We are sidelined and other people are given the opportunity to raise their matters. There is no one to speak of what happened here. The commando officers did not let us pass. They said the Prime Minister was there. We asked to meet with the Prime Minister, but I was not allowed to move forward. A local resident voiced his displeasure, citing the Prime Minister failed to focus attention on the issues faced by the locals. Prime Minister Vikramasinghe made a visit to Rahula College, Mithra where the Search and Rescue Coordinating Office has been set up and held a meeting with the heads of the security forces. All sensitive places have been identified. There are houses in Angulana for those who lost houses in Mithra Mulla. No one is going to Angulana. Keep watch over your belongings until you move to alternate housing. An allowance will also be given for your time here at the Paddy Marketing Board Complex. Compensation will also be given. How many generations of people lived here? The Prime Minister also inspected the collapsed area of the garbage dump. How long will you take it? Sir, we have employed 11 excavators. The search and rescue operations are taking place successfully. The recovery of bodies are taking place. Measures are being taken to prevent the damage that is caused from the garbage dump. The army and police are in the final stages of the search and rescue process. We have reached a decision to provide houses to everyone here who lost their homes. Special teams from Japan and the World Bank will come here. This garbage dump will be moved away from here. The people of Kulonawa and the country cannot bear this burden. Two million people enter to Colombo daily. 700,000 people are living in the city. We will take action based on the fact of preventing environmental pollution. Some are afraid to demonstrate against this for political gains. We will act according to the environmental law of the country. The issue needs to be solved. <laughs> Yes, the required laws are being drafted. There are two types of garbage. One is the kind that is disposed after used. The second is what is carried in the media. A group demonstrated opposite Rahula College, Meet Mulla, when the Prime Minister was making his leave from the site. Anrasen and Ayaka did the same to us. We were never allowed to move forward. Cases were filed. They said the matter will be settled and later they assaulted us. Commander of the Sri Lanka Army, Lieutenant General Krishanta De Silva, discussed the matter with the protesters. <laughs> They should find a solution to this issue rather than arguing in parliament. They do not know how many lived here. The Sri Lanka army is doing everything possible. We will give you whatever we can. Search and rescue operations took place today as well. According to data from the Sri Lanka police, 66 houses have been destroyed and 16 houses have been damaged. Police have also received complaints relating to eight missing people. Sri Lanka army spokesperson said the bodies of the missing eight people have been recovered. By last evening, we recovered the bodies of 32 people. Among the dead were eight children. The three armed forces are continuing with the search and rescue operations. 
Four risk-prone areas have been identified in the area and the residents were moved to the Terence and De Silva Mahavidyalaya. Members of the Sri Lanka cricket team also visited the displaced people. All these people are cricket fans. We understood that after we spoke to these people, Sri Lanka cricket will help them in every possible way. It took very little time for the lives of these people to change forever. 32 lives have already been lost. If this tragedy didn't happen, what would you have been doing now? We were able to run away and save ourselves. We would be among the deceased. We came out when we heard the wall of the neighboring house collapse. We saw how trees and houses were being buried. If we stayed back then, we would have been buried by now. The grammar saver officer and Niha came by often before this incident and asked us not to leave them and go from this area. We said that it is dangerous to live here and that we didn't know what could happen next. They said they plan to leave here soon, but they are no longer here. Were you affected by the floods? In May last year, we were affected by floods. This happened in April. We cannot live in flats. Our children are still afraid. The public have begun to voice their opposition against a decision by the government to dispose garbage collected from Colombo at alternate locations. Karadiana, Dompe, Veyangura, Usvetakeyava and Kotikavata in Colombo have been identified as temporary locations for the disposal of garbage. A group at the Karadiana Garbage Disposal Centre turned back several garbage trucks today. Meanwhile, a group staged a protest today against the disposal of garbage in the Daduwata area in Veyangura. The protesters marched to the Kalagedi Hena Junction, causing a disruption in the flow of traffic along the Kandy Colombo main road. Attempts by the Nitambur OIC to disperse the protesters were unsuccessful. Thereafter, the Nitambur OIC summoned the Atanagala Divisional Secretary to the location where an assurance was made that a solution would be provided to the matter following the. <laughs> The protest was also staged close to the Maligapitiya garbage dumping site in Dompe today against the disposal of garbage collected from Colombo. We were against it when this garbage dump was brought to this area. It was amidst these protests that they set up this garbage dump here. Even then the people said that small compost manufacturing plants would prove to be better for the area. The Pradesh Sabha chairman who went to Korea is now protesting with the rest of the people demanding that garbage not be brought here. This is a joke. He went to Korea to get this here and today he is saying not to bring this garbage recycling plant here. This is like having a baby and refusing to feed the child. These are the kind of narrow political objectives which some are giving leadership to. Parliamentarian Raja Karna thereafter engaged in an inspection tour of the site. Dompe is the only place in Sri Lanka where there is a sanitary landfill. We received it through Korean funds. 90 tons of waste can be stored at this collection point for a span of 20 years. This plant has been constructed in a way in which the wastewater does not connect to any land or water line. All of this water is purified and released. So no one has to worry about the Dompe area because this plant is functioning in a way which does not harm the environment. May 
hasil randau ni kerja. A protest was staged in the Patti Villa area in Nusvetake Yava Watala today against the disposal of garbage collected from Colombo at marshy lands in Muthuraj Villa. A discussion was held at the Kotikawat the Nagarukkai Rama Viharia today regarding attempts to dispose garbage from Colombo at a site used by the Kotikawat the Pradeshya Sabha. At the discussion, the public were assured that the disposal of garbage at this site will not be allowed. <laughs> This garbage has to be disposed at a few locations, but now we are seeing several protests being staged at some of these locations. This is the stance of the government and we will dispose the garbage there. In other local news, former President Mahindra Rajapaksa celebrated the Singhala and Tamil New Year in, in Kurunagala today with former Minister Johnston Fernando. <laughs> We call on the government to provide these victims with suitable places to live and take steps to provide them with concessions. The government is there to take action when required. This government has not been able to pay for the damages caused by the Salawa explosion as well. In Arantalava, there is need for 40 or 60 houses. They have only constructed 10 or 15. I am not sure of the amount. Those promises have not been fulfilled. If these people cannot fulfill their promises when they are in power, how will they keep the promises they made before coming into power? You must think about this. The National Unity Alliance convened a press briefing today. They make Unuganda. Who forcefully obtained the garbage dump? It was Gotabe Rajapaksa. He went there with Anura Senanayaka and attacked everybody that opposed it. Vasudeva is now saying that it is involuntary manslaughter. Who is the murderer? He says he went to court and that others also went to court. The former Chief Justice Sarat N. Silva provides a verdict, but he was influenced by Gotabe Rajapaksa. Through the verdict, he allowed dumping of garbage on a two-acre plot of land and anyone who stood against it would be in contempt of court and approve the arrest of such persons. The money of helping Hambantota had been stolen by the Rajapaksas. Kabir Hashim filed a case saying Mahindra Rajapaksa was responsible. What did they do then? They slapped a fine of rupees 100,000 on Kabir Hashim and saved the rogue. If we take a look at the decisions of Sarat and Silva, he gave verdicts after discussing with certain persons. Muhundan Kanagai brought in equipment for CBN SAT. Then a raid was conducted because they received a tip-off that this equipment was for the LTTE. Sarat and Silva then decided that this equipment should be given to a Buddhist channel. The Buddhist channel is now using equipment that was said to be brought down for the LTTE by Muhundan Kanagai. We can talk of Sarat and Silva for one whole day. JVP parliamentarian Sunil Handuneti made the following revelation on the Sutton political program aired on our sister channel, Sirsa TV. I had the opportunity to travel to Toronto recently. The garbage recycling in Toronto is done by Sri Lankan youth by the name of Sudesh. He makes a pit or a core using the plastic that is collected and he sends it to Texas and he earns through it. The municipal council there pays him for collecting the garbage. He proposed the same project in Mitramulla. Everything was approved. A representative of a powerful minister came to this location and said that they do not need any commissions, but 50% of the project needs to be owned by the minister. Sudesh left the country. I met him personally. I went to his institute and checked the facilities. He is not ready to come again. It happened during the Mahindra Rajapaksa administration. The ministers back then asked for ownership. That is why they are left. The joint opposition convened a media briefing today. Yesterday, the joint opposition requested the speaker to convene parliament urgently. The speaker accepted the request. He spoke to me over the phone and informed me that the Prime Minister must sign a standing order document agreeing to convene Parliament. The Speaker said that under these circumstances, he is prepared to convene Parliament. 
අපට ඒකාබද්ධ විපක්ෂයට දැනුම් දුන්න මේ ප්‍රශ්නේ විවාද කිරීමට ප්‍රයිම් මිනිස්ටර් ස්ටේටඩ් ඇට ද ලාස්ට් ඔකේෂන් දැට් ඊ හැස් නෝ ඔබ්ජෙක්ෂන් ඉන් ඔනරබල් විමල් වීරවංශ ඇන්ඩ් හිස් ග්‍රූප් බීන් ගිවන් ද ෆුල් ඉන්ඩිපෙන්ඩන්ස් දිනේෂ් ගුණවර්ධන මන්ත්‍රීතුමා ඔබතුමා ජේෂ්ඨ මන්ත්‍රීවරේ අපි ඉවන්ද බලමු වීරවංශ මන්ත්‍රීතුමා මම වෙනස් කරන්නේ නැහැ තීරණය වෙනස් කරන්නේ නැහැ स्वभाव कल State Minister of Defence Ruan Vijay Wardena graced the Biagama Vasanta Udaniya Festival today. Deputy Minister Anoma Gamage was also present at the event which was held at the Biagama Primary School grounds. State Minister Ruan Vijay Wardena responded to questions posed by journalists. <laughs> I convey my condolences to the victims of this disaster. I cannot say that the present government is responsible for this. This issue has been prevalent for many years. A period of 60 months was requested to bring a solution to the garbage issue. The disaster took place while the process to find a solution was in motion. We are sad that such a thing took place. That is the issue that prevents us from bringing a solution to this garbage dump. Together with the Prime Minister, we hope to intervene and stop the illegal acts and then provide a solution to the issue. Baba Den Tamai. Take a look at a headline making story tonight. Attorney at law Rose Fernando, United National Party organizer for the Katana electorate, announced a resignation from the post at a media briefing today. When operating a counter number 1 of the Airport Tourist Drivers Association, former minister Sarad Gunaratne used his political power to take over the administration of the association. He then made sure that all of his 10 vehicles got the passengers. The situation changed after the government of good governance was elected. I intervened to obtain the tender for the association under the existing legal framework. For this one requires a tourism permit. We went to apply for this permit from the tourist board which comes under Minister John Amrathunga. At that time pressure was being exerted to issue permits to five close associates of the minister. He had wanted them to be included into the Airport Tourist Drivers Association ensuring that they can use the permit to enter and leave the airport. Because of this the jobs of 135 people are at risk. The minister has no right whatsoever to request for five permits. In these circumstances I refuse to serve in the capacity of UMP electorate organizer. I have addressed my letter of resignation to the party leadership. I condemn the actions of this minister who is representing our political party. The people who are affected by this could not even celebrate the Singhala and Tamil New Year. We will also be held responsible for such actions carried out by ministers. <laughs> Now when Rose Fernando was raising allegations against Minister John Amrathunga the minister was in Kajugama talking to cash vendors Abhi aaj bhi mujhe aur hari hari ye prashna kya kiya na na hari bol kiya pote Ek minute bol ke hello ka na nahi मनुष्य <laughs> 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 ना 
The final rites of Venerable Kalubo Vitiana Sumangalatero were conducted today at the grounds of the Banagala Primary School. Deputy Sanganayak of Matra and the chief incumbent of the Banagala Sri Sila Ratana Ramaya, Venerable Kalubo Vitiana Sumangalatero, passed away on the 16th of this month. The Tero was 87 years old at the time of his demise. The final rites were conducted in the presence of Minister of Law and Order and Southern Development, Sagala Ratnaika, as well as a large number of politicians. Chairman of the Sri Lanka Mahabodhi Society and Chief Sanganayak of Japan, Venerable Banagala Upatissa Tero, was a student of the late Venerable Kalubo Vitiana Sumangala Tero. Former spin wizard Mutaya Muritharan will officially be inducted into the International Cricket Council or ICC Hall of Fame during the ICC Champions Trophy in June. This is the highest honour given to an international cricketer. Sri Lanka Cricket announced that Mutaya Muralidharan will become the first ever Sri Lankan to receive this honour. Muralidharan's last international fixture was the World Cup final in 2011 finished his 19-year career with 800 wickets in tests. Well, that's it from all of us here at the News First English News Desk. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. I'm Mahina Bonzo. And I'm Shane Silva. Take care and good night.